Hello, this is Leila from Radakad. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the functions that we have in DAX named Generate Series that help us to create a list of the numbers in our, uh, our, in our personalized uh, range uh, from whole number to decimal to date. So you can create actually a list of the number with a range that you specify. To this aim, I'm going to uh, create a function. So I'm going to create a function over there. So uh, uh, I put a name for that. So sample data, sample data, just that. And then I use the function generate series. So as you can see, generate series has three main values. It's required three parameters. One is the start value, end value, and the increment value. So increment value is optional. If you didn't put that one, it's actually, it has a default one. So if it's a numeric value, uh, for example, in this example, I'm going to set the start value is one, end value start value is 1, end value is 10, and I didn't put the incremental. So if, as you can see, it's going to uh, create a generated values from 1 to 10 by increment 1. But when I put, for example, 2, it's actually is going to create values that start from 1, but is actually increment 2, so 1, 3, 5, 7. This can be also applied to the decimal number. So for example, I have uh, want to set the start from one. So as you can see, it's generate a value in that range. Uh, uh, I'm going to generate a, another table. So I'm going to create a sample date. So this actually can apply to date function so actually you can apply it to the date function so i'm using the date function that is start uh, for example 2019 second of the february and uh, it should be end on 2023 second of february if i don't apply any incremental value it's actually is going to generate the date for me uh, from that day and day by day so as you can see it's increased by day by day so now if i'm going and change it to uh, put it to be seven that means that every week so the date can be a bit different now so as you can see here is a start from uh, second then the second value is nine and sixteen and 13. So this is a very simple uh, function to generate the list of the value that you want over here. And uh, in next video, I'm going to show you how you can put uh, uh, proper naming and also your custom functions as a new column. Thanks so much for watching this video.